it's um 2 13 a.m eastern standard time i'm buying the plunge and the euro and the pound so this is the first big uh preamble very fast sell-off started right about an hour and a half ago oh, uh, two hours ago here so we look at the half hour chart the price pulses that you're getting at this time of day and you're you're smashing into this previous support i'm getting filled on limits that i placed based on these half hour trailing wicks so in the little pocket right there this is the floor you would scalp to here if you were going to do that trade there you have to get the size right to make it worth your while you're getting out right now okay on the 15 what does that look like it's pretty quick money so these are 15 this is like one hour you just made 10 pips in an hour right all of this smashing around so the guy that was commenting about well unless you get the engulf you're really not going to make enough money to make back what you lost when when you're getting crushed on the way down yeah and catching a falling knife is essentially what's going on here on the five minute chart it's a different view because you can see here 10 minutes you just made and it, we didn't we never made it to here so your sell limit here did not get filled but if you had a sell limit here and one right here those two filled amazingly so at least two out of three you're filled for that trade and then in 10 minutes they're slamming into a void that's been stacking up if this is the floor we we rip through that and it, on the five minute chart it's like a lot of tra you know this will be a lot of trading if you literally pull the trigger on everything you're seeing and you could you could sit there with a with a almost zero spread but you have to ask yourself are you really gonna trade i know you could logically if there was zero spread and zero commissions but still even though this is a nice obvious range are you really going to tell me you're sitting there pulling the trigger on what um 20 standard lots and yeah i'm making about uh 500 sure risking about uh, 300 or do you have stops on that or then here's a three drive there's your three drive so if, if you have a when you're driving a yugo every time you see a guy in a yugo you think wow look at that look how popular my car is i guess that's the argument for seeing the three drive occasionally pop up here's the uh two three and there you go bingo bango but i'm talking about buying yeah you if you started buying here if you do not scalp to here at least half your position whatever number you want to put on it because it is going to be this tragic situation if you overload any wagon right and, and this you know you could have a you need a target of like uh five pips here just to have say, said well i bought here and i know this is the previous exit the five minute chart or am i waiting for this to plunge i'm kind of waiting for it to plunge here and just go into i mean i could put a 10k in a one pip zone without r repeating the price so the the soft you're creating this pillow to land on made out of limits this is, well a cloud of limits and that's the idea you know if you're barely in it it's still a lot of money i mean thirty thousand dollars is still a chunk and even if the spread is 10 percent of a 10 pip window so 10 consider a euro dollar you're trading really heavy 
and you got more orders to worry about whereas the pound you could trade just a third of the you know just very lightly and be a swing trader or be a um you know it's this time of day you could trade at the market with the stops which is a, a more of a, an impulsive like if you're if you know how to uh accept these one hour moves and say well you know it's top of the hour it's up gotta sell or whatever you've decided about what's going to happen at the end of one hour otherwise all of this stuff here it's kind of obvious you know there's supply and demand in places the market hasn't been in a while and that supply and demand is is vicious this is like if biden was running you know it's almost like biden is executive orders throwing him out at the market and the market's trying to absorb the insane bullshit. That's how I look at it. And all of this drama here, like just the wick, just the hammer alone. If you could trade a hammer and just be the hammer, you want to do four hour hammers. There's plenty of trades where you could just exploit the wicks. So when the market opens, it goes ripping up, ripping down, or and ends up unchanged around four to three hours from now or a one hour hammer so look at that one hour hammer thinking sure from the standpoint of the market opens plunges retraces to where it came back to the floor you're out of the trade how many of those occur are you manually trading that a robot could trade that i'm sure that could be the plunge bot you dial the frequency that it's going to do and the range so you got two controls and if you really wanted to do it you're gonna like i said you're gonna need a team of bots running a slightly different algo right so this is 10 increments of a system that only examines the crudest aspects of the market how far did it move if the market's down 100 pips in an hour this robot's going to throw limits in out in front front run it by twice that or a fibonacci whatever you want it's going to throw six one eighths out in front it's probably going to under trade the market compared to the guy that's putting in a rack of 500k in a 40 pip window and never even has an expiration on the ticket so the exposure is brutal with the market goes actually right now is we're right at that point where we could just plunge right now on this five minute uh okay i just picked up some more k and i'm only down 20 some i'm in uh, 35k let's say and i'm down 22 bucks so it's not i'm starting to lose more money as i absorb the market plunging into this plan that i've uh, designed but this is said okay we're getting the the pound is getting crushed here we could drop at least another 40 pips right now so i'm going to put in the tickets that go um i'm going really deep on the tickets here on the pound we're just about to take out the low of asia now let's sell off in asia so we could really pick up some heat here okay now we're getting there using $90 of margin now plunging in to my limit grids and it's going to be crazy uh in, into the jobs report so we got at least another four hours of sell-off possible picking up uh, catching the falling knife that's what we're doing they just stopped out some poor goober right there now for me I would say yeah we're tipping in the window right here this is it so the guy that has orders super deep right now and he's just barely going to use like who's driving their car at red line right you can't red line the grid because you can't have more tickets than you got money to pay for that now if it's an eight hour script yeah you could white knuckle it you could say right now these tickets will still be around at 10 o'clock in the morning whatever's coming out then 
but we got jobs report coming out. We got a goober administration. It's going to be ruckus. Okay, we just took out the lows in the pound. Now it's going to get vicious. We'll pick up another. We'll get to about $200 of margin usage here. That's the target. By 3 o'clock in the morning, they're going to be through the floor here. All right, so this is just about right here. Getting a little bit, uh, not nervous, but we're using 114 of margin, and we're only down 37. That's really good. Those, I'm picking up both currency pairs, so we're going to definitely take some heat. Right now, we're, we want to get to where we're up about, well, let's say, if we get the break even here with $200 of margin usage, I'd say that would be the sweet spot. Okay, they just stop hunted somebody there. Or is it breaking down and it's going to keep tanking? So here's the trick, getting just the right size here. This is Goldilocks trading. So far, haven't pulled the trigger at the market. It's certainly a more relaxing way of trading. But if I did think I was in big enough on this euro, and I'm really not, I'd buy at the market um, with a wide stop. Okay, we just... So it's five minutes before the bottom of the hour, and we're right at this critical zone. We just slammed down five minutes. Did anybody go short there? That is the ultimate question, okay? Are people going short there thinking, well, um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go short. Now I'm looking for another 40 pip slam on the pound right now. Down. So you need, you can't, if you want to cover an 80 pip zone for the next eight hours, I'd say that's very conservative trading because you're saying, I expect this market to be down another 80 pips in the next eight hours and just drop the rack at the very bottom. Okay. All right. So it's getting, look at the pound on this tick chart. It's just going to go ballistically down. Like maybe 10 pips in a, in a blink of an eye here. Shear down and then retrace out of that. And I don't need the engulf. So I'm not planning on it. And I don't think that's a bonus ticket ride. And if you think about the London breakout drum that you're going to get here. It's just not going to matter because you can have this on any market. As soon as it starts dropping into your limits. And you watch the margin usage and okay now we're getting almost to 150 dollars of margin usage and we're down 41. making new lows in the euro new lows in the pound plenty plenty of dry powder below us probably not going to blow up the account but i want to see 200 dollars of margin down 50 bucks that would be like amazing that is the number I'm shooting for in the next spot. We got to make it through this insane sell off. <laughs> I mean, when you watch the pound move 40 pips in one hour clean from the top, from the top of the hour to the top of the hour, it's just amazing. Look at this. Now, here, now they're crushing it. We want to get to. $200 of margin usage and only be down now. 50 bucks. Okay, so that's perfect. We used to 136 and we're still holding 45 down. All right, so that's what I look at. When I'm watching this plunge, because I know what it's I know what it's gonna look like, and I know what it's gonna feel like when the market's smashing at this time of day into new lows. And so I'm just gonna sit back and let them fill the the rack and then ultimately no market order trading right people say they know okay new lows coming on we're just about to take out asia low and euro now you got more tickets available there okay so we're getting the retrace in the pound 
is one minute. I mean, two minutes, a minute, 15 seconds before the bottom of the hour right now. And the euro is, wow, trapped below this floor. I see so many buy limits below me right now. Okay, this is about it. Looks like we're going to retrace now. We're only down 35 bucks with $130 margin. It's not my, it's not the best target in the world for this kind of um, possible meltdown into a vacuum. So we, we still don't know if we're going to breach this low back here. And it's going to be a complete catastrophe for the retracers. But here the pound just perked up. This is the first a glimmer of hope for the bulls. And the euro dollar. Let's take a look at the euro dollar. Okay, so euro is coming back to life a little bit. And five seconds. Okay, here we go. Right now is literally the bottom of the hour. And go to the half hour chart. Where are we at? Are we are we stuck? straight down are these ridiculous prices are these unsustainable somebody just scalped out to here right so all the five minute traders they bought here when it comes back to here they're out right now this this the other guys that are on the four hour charts i'm looking at the one hour charts we just made we're trapped below the asian floor right now on the euro and the pound and I want to be like at $130 of margin usage here. So this is like, let's just say it's 60K and uh, I'm down 24 bucks. Here comes the one minute traders. Here, I mean, here comes the, yeah, the one minute traders. We don't have to go to the one minute chart. You can only imagine what it looks like here. We're fighting back. Will we get the engulf? I say, yeah. But I'm not going to bet on it. I'm going to get out. What if I got out of everything here? This is my worst entry. I bought the crush into, I'll call this fair value on the five. Okay, so the, 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 the pressure's off, although now I feel like I wish they would have sm smashed it down harder, right? You're always going to wish that you got more hookers when you went to the bar if you knew they were that inexpensive or cheap. So, if I would have known what I knew now, I, that I know then, I would wait, especially because of this time of day, I would wait till we get to at least your, your break, your, your, uh, not really losing, um, or you could be up just a half a pip and get out of the whole thing. That would be the, Best way to guarantee that you're not going to have too, you're going to make something. Because look, the seller's already come in there. See, so back off. So there's people that are selling here thinking it's okay. I got the breakout confirmation, uh, breakout, pull back to the breakout for them. The floor is the confirmation for the bears. Breakout, pull back to the floor, get in here. You still got to wait three minutes though. But if you look at the dailies, we just, we didn't slice the Asian lows in the euro like I thought we would. So we did it on the pound. So the pound auto filled on limits. And we're going to ride that into just for the 10, 20 pips already pre-programmed in the exits. And if you just do that trade twice, you made whatever money, you know, whatever. But I still am looking for another price pulse down. I still want to get into more uh, stuff. Look at so look at that. It looks like new lows here on um, on the pound. I'm trading both. Yeah, it's new lows on the pound there. Just picked up about another uh, another two k. 
looks like another 1K. So I'm, I'm at 133 down 36. So we could actually um, drip down into the news coming out at 8.30 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time, or we're going to slam down there. As the, as the pound has another 30 pips to go south easily here. Pretty incredible. So we're going to go for new lows here. We're going to buy more just by autopilot. We've already laid it in the grid, so we're just going to wait. Uh, we just got stopped out of something, so I feel bad about that. Oh, uh, I lost 10K there. The pound is just, you can't see it on this chart, but the pound is going through the floor. Just through the floor. Down uh, 20 pips, 10 pips below the Asian floor now. So that's uh, now we got to get about uh, another 40 pips deep. Just going to lay in a bunch of uh, limits down there. Going to go in 40 pips deep. Probably won't fill for another 15 minutes, uh, one hour. So I'm going to go for ratios that are. Uh, uh, 20 pips stop to make uh, 40 pips. Get the round number. I don't think that's going to fill, but. Okay, so this is going to. Now I feel like buying at the market because I saw this $133 margin usage and I kind of got excited because I like to see a decent amount of size. Okay, we're going to get some fills here. Good. So it's going to tank some more. So we get back to 150k now. We 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 lost a little bit there. Um, not trading at the market, just sitting back and waiting for just the ultimate destruction of. Wow, into the news here. So, this is catch a falling knife into the news. Because we still we never got that um, blowout of the Asian floor on the euro. For, for the people that are by, uh, accumulating under here and they pull the trigger every five minutes is down, you're in a um, a 3K right now with three tickets. Okay, here's where it's going to get the heat. Back into the 133 usage, so this is good. Down about 100 bucks. So let's see how it reacts at this uh, critical... Critical uh, support theory. All right, we're down about uh, eh, 60 bucks. This at 200K, at a standard lot, $200 of usage here, 501 leverage, and being down 50 bucks, and this number being at uh, 200. That's going to be the ultimate. Okay, now we're getting up there. Getting up to what a few more K. But we don't want to lose any of our position. We're gonna go for the big hopefully use uh five hundred dollars of margin and only be down a hundred bucks during that that phase. Okay, they just nicked the very edge of that down there. It's seven minutes after the bottom of the hour. So that's almost perfect. Almost perfect. We could have put in. It, it would have taken a lot of people would be very afraid to buy down there. See, it's, it's right at the edge of the abyss. You tipped into that window by like one and a half pips. The guy that's buying every five minutes, it's down. See, you, if you bought that last five minute and you said, well, I'm going to put a stop back there, they were just taking you out. Okay, so this is even better. I'm at 137. Can I make back what I lost? I'm not getting the tickets arranged at that critical um, support theory. Because you don't want to be a, a racist trader, right? 
and it's critical support theory. All right, so this is the this is the this is better. Now we sit back. Imagine you never were watching this happen. You'd laid the li you'd laid the limits. You went and took a nap, and you said, "If they ever take this thing through the lows of yesterday, actually the end of the day lows." So it was in your mind's eye. You knew there's a very steep. Just keep making new lows, keep buying new lows, keep selling into where the breakout traders got in and maybe back into fair value the the other existing inside the fold of uh well at least back to the moving average or back to st standard deviation trading you know as retracement now we're waiting for that so we're going to wait by the time three o'clock in the morning comes and the other markets open Okay, so now we're cashing out. So I didn't really pay attention to the balance so much. But about, uh, we're down about uh, 50 bucks at this point. Okay, we're almost in profits. Okay, uh, only down eight bucks with $137 margin to me. If we can hold this through, come back up into those settlements I put up there. Now I may have to say, and I got to delete this stuff because now it's going to come flying back up into here. Yeah, if this is real money, I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna start doing this. And this is the, the, the drudgery, I suppose, of putting in. Now, these could be eight hours. If these are one-hour tickets up here, I got no problem because it would make sense. I could, I could see this still being a viable sell window. I don't think I'd change that. But uh, let's see. Yeah, critical wick theory, it's called. All right. There. Now we're still underwater until we get to here, and then this becomes a liability. Do we have too many tickets up here now? And I wouldn't blame you if you were nervous about that. So we'll start trimming off the ones that are closest. Because I still think that whether you like it or not, there may be a, that's still going to be a great place to sell. Coming, flying back the other way, because it'll be this, oh, first we want to have free lunch, and then we're like, you know, it just doesn't taste as good as the one I paid for. Oh, you want it to be like that now? Okay, and this, that was just a ferocious, you, you, yeah, you, in, in the, in, for the the bear that sold here and got out here in the buyer's window, he's like, yeah, I get it. It was a downtrend, so I had to take the sells. You know, I'm a biased trader. In the morning, I, I, I you need you need like diversity forex trading and call it woke forex. Okay, another brainstorm that I don't have time to engage all the landing pages, but. Woke Forex, you know, we are looking out for the, uh, we're not really hunting stops so much as we're just uh, enabling bad traders. It's like, move to Oregon, do cocaine, and let us, let us stop hunt the goober. Yeah, we're, we're anti-goober, right? <laughs> we're up about Forex patriots. You know, you really want to get on the, you have like a, a My Forex pillow. I wonder if they get sued by the my forex guy. Wait, wait, is my forex pillow? Yeah, I mean it's got like fucking Android in there. I can see the market out of the corner of my eye. You know, just in case the, the my trade my genius trade plan doesn't work out. Okay, now we're just bobbing here down twenty bucks. We still got one hundred thirty seven. We're still waiting for some type of reconciliation after that brutal sell off. Now we're looking for the makeup sex part of the trade. And this would be the engulf. This is hugging. It's all going to be going to be together. Unity. I know we had a gun to your head in the last forty minutes of this market session. We take the 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 bulls and just beat them to death. Cut off their leg and then beat them to death with it. You're gonna be okay. Just a, a flesh wound. No, I accept. I'm gonna get stopped out of some of these tickets. You know. Um, 
in hindsight, you could you have said, well, we should have put more tickets down here and not even try to get in so early. Yeah. You wouldn't say that if you looked at the four-hour chart. You'd be like, yeah, I mean, come on, anything down here is a good entry. Okay, we're coming up on the, the big kahuna top of the hour. 15-minute trading is going to update. The bars are going to update here in a second. So is this a breakout to the sell? Should we be short? Should we just go with the goober trade here and just go, you know what? Why are you trying to fight all of this up and down? And why make it so complicated? Just put your sell stop here. You're short. You've got a, a stop here. You're going to cancel and replace your stop. When you get the break even and the market plunges, you're going to trail that stop down. And you're going to just go with the flow. It's in a downtrend. Shut the fuck up. It's been going down uh, for the last, um, the whole week it's been going down. I mean, it's been going down for the last two, uh, two three days. And now you're going to buy it? What kind of trend trader are you? <laughs> come here. Come here, you. We'll learn you how to be a range trader. So even if you're a trend trader, you're still buying pullbacks. Okay, here's where the moment of truth is. Are we going to get by 3 o'clock in the morning, the London Open, is? are we going to be coming back into the standard deviation back to home base, which is about 20 pips north right now, another 10 pips north on the pound, and another um, uh, 10, 8 pips on the uh, euro. And then we will be totally out of this trade. We, we could get out of this trade without any losses. Hopefully we're going to make about 100 bucks. I'm going to be conservative and make us say 100 bucks here. Using, that, that's, a, that's a lot. That's a lot of money. It's, it's going to take four hours at least to make that from this point forward. So you'd have to say, okay, we're not going to touch this trade now. We're, we're only down a dollar. And we're in a $137,000 position. To me, we, you know, we're covering the commission and the spread right now. And we're coming up on the top of the hour. If the market should rock it up into those sell limits that I have above in that thing above me, holy shit, I don't think I have that on the pound. The 15-minute traders pulled the trigger when they were underneath support. They blocked in a winning trade. They had another, um, th there was no other chance. That's the only close below that threshold of the wicks. And if you wanted to go on closing prices and use this as like a pivot, this is a double bottom. You're coming up into that right now. So are you going to engulf? Right. And if you bought, I bought a little early into this, but these are one case for God's sakes, you know, it's a 5k mistake. Okay. Now we're all, now we're up 28. We got to be, we got to try to make to like a hundred bucks at least right so and maybe we'll make money on these guys coming back the other way that's that's where i'm curious and let those go we'll have enough money from this trade that if we go smashing up into this it becomes a rip roaring um stop hunt on both sides at the end of the day there's a doji there's a um a doji with giant wicks then we're winning Okay, I'm about to, now I'm up, I'm right back to the floor on the pound. So, on the one hour chart, we're back to here, do we get out? Now, this is the moment of truth. I'm going to say, yeah, let's cash out of this whole position. Because they have so many sell limits above me. And, um, I don't know if I'm going to wait till top of the hour here, just to say that we are up on, almost. see, that last ticket there, we're still right at that point. Okay, so now you just like, well, kind of missed your exit window there. But this broker is going to take a while to unravel this position. But if I'm up, let's say, $100, I'll just get out of this leg, let the euro go, which is a less risky trade, uh, volatility and pip-wise. And then I could scale out like that. Or do I go for the whole 
hold this until the news comes out. If I hold it till the news comes out, we could be hitting these sell limits up in that pocket up there. That um, that it almost be possible. And so what looks possible to you is based on how you frame the market. Now here it looks totally possible that we could, after invading this, making this wick, that we're going to take a pause. And we've got plenty of time to go rocketing up into that pocket when they're coming out with the uh, jobs report under the Goober administration. So I'm going to let this go until at least 3 o'clock. It looks like 3 a.m. We could be up another 8 pips. So my target of making, I'd love to make 200 bucks actually. That would be a bonus. And then if that happens, I come in with more limits immediately. Cash out right now at this moment on this British pound, hit a button, get out. So what I want, what I typically would do in the most efficient way is take another uh, chart on another computer, cash out. And while it's cashing out, because you can't run two scripts at once, you come in with limits and start dropping a whole nother rack of 80K on the wick that just happened. So you're just literally going to be hitting right now. You're about to cash out of the British pound. As soon as the pound takes out this. And you got nine minutes to come back right to here. Everybody gets out. Then you throw in your limits real fast. And maybe this is only a 10K now. Another 10K. Another. And maybe you just put in uh, some, you know, here's a standard lot, a standard lot, right? I'll go with that. I'll mark Gatlin like that. Here, Here's a 10K cluster with the exit here. You know, you're going to, it's always going to be, if you're going to buy this crush, this 20 pip crush, you do have to cash out of something here to be a kind of a secure your account. If you if you ride this, this is still four hours. You're out. You have to reload the gun. This is where you dump, come back, and throw those limits in, just like this one. How that looks. Okay, we got a triangle, a pennant. We're ready to break out. Coming into the top of the hour. We cash out of this thing. All right. So the pressure's off. Now the concern is: Do I too too many sell limits up here? Okay, I'm up forty bucks. We're going to be out of this trade on some tickets automatically, I hope. We should see the margin peel off a little bit here, right into the 3 o'clock. And then, then three minutes, five minutes after 3 a.m., we could literally be smashing almost up another 10 pips from here. It's just so ruckus. Okay, this is, it's just crazy. This I mean, these markets are out of control. Look at these. Look at some of the moves on here. You, know, you can't even believe it, you know. So I don't think it's a big stretch to to uh, make it to here or to here. We're there right now. So here's what I can do. As, as soon as we get to here, I'll just start getting out now. I'm up 40 bucks, but just to prove a point. I don't, my real money, I'm still in it. I'm still in the Euro too. It's all crushing up. And I'm, I might dump here. Depends how much money I'm making. So that's going to matter too. How much am I winning and losing? All right, I got my finger on the trigger here. I'm about to cash out of just the pound. Okay, I'm going to get up. I'm taking the pound off the table. Immediately come in. This is very fast broker. Just come in here like this. This is going to be um, eight hours. Like, I'm just going to go, you know what? I don't care. I'll, I'll do that trade all over again. Right? Euro, I'm going to dump the euro here. Um, so, yeah, I'm getting out of everything right now. Let me just take all...
profits off. I'm going to go flat. All right, so now I'm only in $13 of margin. Yeah, it's just not. I think it is going to go, uh, but it's going to probably come down again. Just I've been here, done this so too many times. Now, I'm barely in the market, and I'll be disappointed, of course, right, if it rips up. But I'm like, I don't care. I don't care no more. So I'm tired. I'm going back to sleep. So I I just to just to say, you know what, we made like uh I don't know. Seventy bucks there. We're up twenty bucks. Just it's too it's too you cannot tell me that this isn't gonna tank now after that. So I retap that. I'm putting I'm gonna put the limits in again. I'll rinse and repeat, go back to sleep. So if you trade really heavy, which that wasn't too heavy, that was only like a standard lot. It only made about 70 bucks. Here's here's where the money's gonna be. You know, put put the same ticket pick and now now really getting this thing <laughs> like this. Cause you know how it's gonna be. <laughs> You're gonna go down and make new lows. Nobody gets out alive. Okay, the pound. So the euro, it's just it's just it's too ruckus. It's it's not even the top of the hour. We could come flying down. It's not like people think. <laughs> it's just not. I want to get into this 300. So the dream is I'm in uh, two standard lots for 15 minutes and I'm making 300 bucks. That's the trade. All right. So we're barely in it here. A little pound, a little bit of pound left over there. So now I can run my, my, uh, let's get in more. See, that's 20 pip wick, right? And the, the thing was, I wasn't really trading the pound here as much as I was trading the euro, but obviously the place to have where you're up on the trade right now is to be buying this um, low from that Asian sell-off. Getting real heavy there. And, you know, that would be your, you'd have to trade really heavy on that wick, but if you got off a of half the position here, at that breakout floor then you are up on the trade right now holding it and just saying okay you know what i'm not in that big you know i can sell now into this this is going to be a great place to sell i think it doesn't matter to me i would sell above where we're at okay so top of the hour is coming still Making profits on these lingering tickets. Ready to go totally flat here. Yeah, so I want to get out of everything into the top of the hour. And then either put sell limits in. Or uh, do the buy limits all over again. Because I just want to go lay down. Uh, the, see how harsh the sell off's coming here into uh, top of the hour? Now you would think, oh no, that's going to engulf. Mm. No. I think everybody smash it again, so. You know, if you're a big swing trader, and I actually am a swing trading position, it's very light. You know, that could still make money, you know, for some people. I mean, I could still make like $20 on this trade, but they're probably going to smash it down here. Two minutes before the top of the hour. That's when it, it come in here manipulating the markets again. Just fuckers, man. I had a good trade on there, and they just came in and manipulated the markets on me. I'm going to count on it here. I'm going to buy this re-wicking of the wick. 
here I go for the uh, greedy targets of 40 pips. And, uh, you just don't see those targets. I'm going to go for the... Let's try to make 20 pips here. Okay, i got to delete objects. Here comes the pounding. Oh, look at that. We picked up a few k. see? Okay, now we could see the next wave of punishment down. Look at that. With with one minute to spare, 30 seconds to spare, there must be some news coming out. Okay, so that's the thing. You know, you're not going to get the engulf. You get to that target, you're up. Okay, we could make some... We could start... Now we... We want it to drip down or smash down. We got 10 seconds left. There could be news. It could be crazy. Okay, so I'm barely in it. I'm barely in it now. Still looking for another we another smash down. Okay, there is three o'clock in the morning. Boom. Now we can shear down. Can you just see it? Just down like like 20 pips in like 15 minutes and everybody's like what the fuck meanwhile i just sit back with limits now i don't care fuck them there's a 12 pip stop to make 28 pips down here how's that not a good trade i ain't waiting for my indicators to catch up it's not gonna happen oh euro's coming back to life nicely but yeah, now I think about selling. <sighs> so being the contrarian, you know, if it if people say it's going up, I say it's going down. Hmm. Now we should trade like uh, white people and get in like a 50K here with, you know, a little bit of, um. we're down like 10 bucks and a 50K. Yeah, this will be worth about oh, $300 in about. Oh, eight hours. Wow, look at this. They're coming in my limits again. Don't you just love it? Like, rinse and repeat. Come on. Yeah, now I got, now, now, I, now I could seriously say, set it and really forget it. I think I'm going to retap that whole wick. Look at that. There you go. See, it's only, it's only one minute after three o'clock in the morning. And oh, look at that. Perfect. Now at 32K. Of course. It's four X. Man, just trade the wick. I'm just trading the wick. Be the wick. All right. I still want the pound to sell off again. They didn't punish them uh, bulls enough. It's like a horror flick, you know, get that, get the hammer out, get the sledgehammer. Uh, have Jake get the sledgehammer. Okay, that looks like man, that might be the bottom for a while. Look at that. It's coming back to life. So this would be the uh, confirmation traders are getting in here. The people that trade double bottoms on the one-minute chart. I'm sure there's a double bottom on the one-minute chart right now. Oh, there's a triple bottom here. There's a double bottom. Well, here's um, a single bottom. Come back. Now, the confirmation breakout people have already seized the short position here right there's their doji they are short right now looking for follow through to the downside i'm just barely in it here plenty of time for this to go even lower into the news people that are bulls are buying right here every five minutes it's uh, anytime it's below this threshold, I'm sure they're accumulating. Every five minutes they're buying, whenever they feel like it. With these people trapped here. Breakout traders getting killed. Oh, but this tick charts the pound, and I'm on the euro dollar, so I'm, I mean, no, no, I'm on the pound. The euro is so the euro made it back to fair value right this whole trade and we got out here but as you remember my worst entry was here 
Oh, I'm still in. I'm just barely in. See that? I got a 1K there. Okay, so let me take that off. Now the pound's filling me. So I'm flat on the euro, and it's all about the pound now. Come down another 30 pips in the pound would be like just easy money. Now, new lows. Give me some uh, fresh lows here. In the pound. Just come screaming down here. I got 28 pip tick profit I'm going to put in. Man, crazy stuff. Okay, the euro doesn't look as... Uh, no, the euro looks very bullish. I went flat, but that's okay. I got the cells up here, see? I got so much exposure for at least, I think, eight hours. I'm pretty sure these are eight-hour tickets. Like I said, in the demo count, I'm going to go full retard. Okay, no offense to half retards, but I'm I'm just going to go there because anything above that yellow line to me is just easy wick goober money. It comes up, it comes back, you're out. Put a fork in it, it's done. Now here I'd buy at the market. Right there on that five. Five minutes after three o'clock in the morning, bought it, would have bought at the market, but I'm already in. I already got my limits filled. And we could still smash down. There is no way in hell there is some type of... Okay, 76K, perfect. Without even trading at the market. I'm back into half the position I was in before. Euro's coming back to life. I'm flat the euro. I'm looking for the euro to come up and smash into my cell banks. Which if I go to the one hour chart, look like, you know what? That's insane. You could get killed on that trade. Like, look at the four hour. I'm asking for, but you know what? To me, it's money. I know it looks scary as hell, especially I'm not really, I'm just learning to sell. And I can't, I'm getting uh, a lot of uh, excitement out of it, but it's just as bad as uh, buying um where you get in too heavy early on, but I am getting heavy early on in the demo. So the real money, I'm not selling like I would here. So it's, it's to make it to the next level, you got to run it in demo because you're never going to make a prototype and, and spend money on the real. You're never going to put parts on a prototype and expose yourself to that much. Uh, okay, this could, be the, this could be the engulf. We're going to get on the pound now. We got to, there are people going to get out here right at this point, but we were looking for the engulf and I, and I got so many tickets up here. I think this is a great trade just to keep selling above and to, to, so you don't blow up the account. Just put the tickets in like this way the hell outside of any type of, I mean, you know, this is almost unfillable in the next four hours. You know, on, on the on the even on the on the thirty minute chart, you know, come on, you got a long way to go to get up into these prices again. And so yesterday, I had sell limits up here, and not in the most perfect. There is no perfect. Uh, oh, this is the place. So this would be your ICT order block, you know. So Bobby comes at the top right here, uh, you sell, and I did have that tickets, and this is when I think FOMC came out. And I got filled here, down to here, which I was not up that much on the account, but it was funny because I did not touch anything on that. I had the cells up there already. I just threw them in above me. Okay, I'm up five bucks with seventy six dollars of margin. Okay, so like truly, like we're in trading in white suburbia right now. But look how it's like. Oh man, the people that are the bears are like, no, this is the where you sell. It broke out, pulled back to breakout point. Let's get on the short train. So I don't really have a dog in the fight there because I'm barely in it. So on the half hour view, you're going to hold that. That's a great trade to hold on to. 
and the euro is starting to really itching to pop into my sell limits now. So I know that's on the back burner. There, I have exposure to massive selling here. But I don't think it's going to go up straight up. So I'm counting on it poking up in, and I will be cashing out when we get to... If this comes up and rips back, and I see we came back to this price, which be top becomes a bottom theory. If we get above this and it comes back to that, I got to get out. I got way more selling exposure here. Okay, now I'm up 25 bucks with $76 in margin. All right, so if I wouldn't have scalped out and I said that I was doing it to make a point, because if you held now, are you getting the engulf? Oh, yeah. And it's 10 minutes after. So I'm going to cash out right now with my real money. And I'm going to cash out of this. Because this is an insane move. This is getting filled on sales now. Now I am going to sell. Uh, with real money spaced really wide apart. And with fake money really wide apart. Because look, look how heated up it is. They must have just printed a bunch of money in the United States. So let's get in with these massive canvas orders that are, can sustain wide pip ranges. So you would, so that we totally engulfed almost the Asian session here on the euro, right? So that was the trade. If you look at that five minute setup now, so now you're thinking, yeah, sellers here. Look at them. Look at them come in. So that trade's over, right? That's why I got out. And I'm willing to buy this only in a really wide space thing because knowing these, knowing this market, we could probably start making new lows here. You just can't believe how vicious. We could come into here by the time the news comes out. Holy God. But for the, for the moment right now, because I want to go to sleep, I'm just going to sell in these giant wide zones above like this. I'm up 21 cents. I'm getting out of that ticket. Okay, I'm flat. Look at that. Eh, we're up. We're up like 80 bucks or something. Okay, now I feel like what is the big picture here? Oof. Wow, look at this. Are you kidding me? Okay, a lot of exposure for sales. But I think they're good sales. I don't think we're going to go ripping back up, right? And the daily. Yeah, five minute. That's why these kind of views of the market are so stupid. Like, do you really care about all that price there? No, I care about... Do I have too many cells above me right now? I'm flat, waiting to make tons of money being a contrarian now against that. You know, here's your, here's your cell window, right? The sellers are coming in now. Okay, now let's come back in with buys. We'll go for the super wide, low risk canvassing trade. 40 pips stop, $12 a risk. Eight hours is all, so that kind of increases the exposure. Okay, now we're just going to trade like very canvas style, right? This is where, <laughs> this is the, the kind of style of fraud where you would do, um, just change the middle initial. They have 26 names available. So, all right, here we go. Wow. Okay, so that, you know, that was, that was exciting. But back to business. Um, can we make it up here now? Um, yeah, I think that's a good place to sell. Back in the fold, uh, back in the the medium point. It's gonna have to. We are gonna have to cash out of these. If I was, if I thought that there was too much overfill, you can kind of see it here. Or you would trim these off. But I kind of like those hotspot clusters. And if I put them right on the tip of this, 
supply zone. I think it's totally acceptable. I don't think you're breaking any kind of rules there. Kind of want to have these are going to be the key sell points. That's key selling points. Yeah, these this car is a gets good mileage. It's a good selling point. All right, so I'm going to go for a whole canvas to the north here today. I just became a bear. I don't know what it is. I just can't resist going against the goober. I'm a recovering goober. I bought the lot, the trend trade. They had me trend trading. It was awful. I waited for my indicators to catch up. Oh, it was so painful. All right. We're a long way from getting filled here, so let's put in the super wide, double wides here. Now, this is a little more relaxed trading than we just did earlier. Scalping that wick, the momentary lapse of reasons. I don't know. This looks like, here's another three drive. Look at that. We actually bought the third drive. We didn't even know we was doing it. That's the thing. When you're involved with the drama of up and down you don't realize that you know we actually bought the third drive there without even knowing it and the momentum projections were failing too we were supposed to be hitting this line so we're back to the uh floor we may not get in golf now um kind of hoping for it because i i swear this is going to be ripe selling here yeah, i think it's ripe selling How's the dollar doing? So dollar index, it's banging on this thing again. Another rinse and repeat. I could trade this, but I don't want to mess up the equity performance. But we could put buy limits in here. It's too much to pay attention to to really. Uh, but it would, you know, I'll just do it for one hour. So we probably won't get filled on this. But if you're going to be an active trader, high frequency or constantly dropping tickets you know yeah for an hour sure i'll buy here for an hour you know i don't think we get filled on that but that's a great trade and from an hour from now if that doesn't fill i don't have to come over here and delete it you know i guess we should put some buy limits on this so the what is your target you know i mean if you're going to start buying here that means you think it's going to go back above here well what is it going to go above there before it goes down that's the other question how how far away is my next fill and um should i've sold there you know i mean i know i got out of my lungs but man that was a great place to sell for your trend trader you know and when the news is going to come out later we could be driving down into here so this is still a viable Trade plan down here to buy down here later today. Look at it back off. It's only it's only 17 minutes after three o'clock in the morning. Can you believe it? Look at the look at like clockwork. These 15 minute traders are just hitting that sell button. Hey, they're up on the trade. Wait, what are you gonna argue with this uh genius sell at after 15 minutes? And this is where it looks more even more even more better to buy down here. Let's put some eight hours in down here. And uh, let's just let that go. Let that cook. Here, I'll go for the 20 pip stop to make 40. You know, look at it rip down, right? Look at that rip down. This could be the most insane. I'm telling you, with this Goober administration, it's a trader's dream. I don't know if we come out here, but we may just be doing this and then we're going to go up. I don't know. I'm flat. I'm waiting. So here's where we could do the one hour orders, I suppose. Man, look at that thing. Just look at that. Look at those 15 minute traders holding on to that. Yeah, at the end of 15, I guess at the bottom of the hour. If I, here, let's just put some one hours in, just to make a point. So not everything I'm doing here would be something you'd want to do. 
just to say you got to get the feel for this you have a 3k pending for an hour would you buy this that's all i'm asking <laughs> is a 12 pip stop okay so you're risking like four bucks to make four bucks on these so another rack and now anything below here yes i'd buy like i'd buy stuff like crazy below there today today only look at the dailies are you kidding me look at that daily chart look if you're still short from here now this is the when everybody's oh it's making it yeah it's actually making another amazing new high that goes back uh two years well you have to sell that and maybe you're still short you're you may you're back up 100 pips Right now, you're below the floor of yesterday on the daily. Great place to buy. So we scalped that to that floor. Are we going to have to get the engulf? Not today. In fact, we're probably going to go lower on this pound now. There's a higher probability that we're going to make our 40. If, we, if it goes down 60 and retraces 40 this week today okay now they're going to smash it down again so i'm going to put these look at these 15 minute traders just ripping the face off that market okay so i'm going to get kind of aggressive here now i am going to lay in these things and just i don't want to babysit this anymore i'm losing all enthusiasm the will the will to to watch this yeah i'm just doing it uh okay we want to buy down here like you can't believe here i'm going to put the end of the world stop 40 pips only to make 20 here let's just go let's just go nuts on a bad ratio here oh the euro's perked euro's getting ready to fill my cells now Look at, we picked up a few K though. Look at this pound trade. So here's the, I know it says eight hours, but I know that's a one hour script. So you can't go with the comments on that. That's why I can't sell this stuff. If I sold this stuff, I'd have to go make all the comments make sense. And that's not going to do it. But that's buying the pullback. Um, and here I'm just trying to make a target of this much. And I think I got sell limits up here. Yeah, I got sell limits up here, so. But I do think we could get this psycho retest, and the euro's going up. So these guys are decoupling right now pretty hard. We're about to get filled in the sell limits. So I like this selling idea. We haven't got filled yet. So this is when they were going against each other. So I'm probably going to have to get out of this. Um, did I go? Um, I, okay. No, I'm, I'm going to hold them. I'm, no, we get out of the pound here. So I'm getting out of this pound trade. I'm selling so much on the euro. I just picked up 26K here. So I don't normally do this trade. This... Um, so my real money i have orders in spaced way apart i don't want to stand in front of this freight train of um psycho euro buyers right now look at the tick chart here look at these guys i'm gonna i'm gonna just crush their dreams these bulls dreams they're, they're going for the engulf there and i'm just gonna shut it down I'm going to put a lid on it. I'm only down at buck forty, and I'm on $26 a margin. Not bad. I must say, not bad. Hmm. This is going to be an epic rally coming right here. Into my trap. Let's get into $100 a margin and just be down uh, 20 bucks. That would be perfect. That would be like the best trading and this is all happening like so fast, you know. 
Yeah, you could be still holding from down here. Don't forget, you could have, you didn't have to scalp. Here is the engulf, right? So you're just taking out Asia's uh, session right now. I'm selling into that. Yeah, epic uh, situation here. I'm going to cover like an 80 pip uh, window now. So this is a 30 pip window of selling in 46k down five bucks. My balance is at 666, uh, 12,666. So I'll look at my balance to see am I losing any. I want that balance to stay steady. Pick up another 50k equities. I'm only down two bucks right now. All right, so by the bottom of the hour, I don't know if there's news coming out or not. It just wouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter. Okay, that is the full engulf. If you got in down here, you got it, right? So you had to wait an uh, hour for that trade. Right? You bought the new lows and you sold the new highs of Asia. It's over. I think it's still going up. And I'm going to sell into that like it's there's no tomorrow. I just think it's like the easiest trade now. So the people are selling here to do the same. They think it's going to go down and re-engulf the engulf and then just keep tanking. That's the bear's dream. That's my dream. The dream of the bears. But I'm the dream of the scalper, really. Because I know my first target should be, even though it's not a lot of pips, should be right here. Right? That's where the breakout traders got in. Right here, they got in here because it all broke out. Confirmation. Had to wait for my moving air. Had indicators caught up and everything. I got in. Oof. So I should be scalping to this yellow line here. My finger on the trigger, and that would be the scalp of that and not holding for maybe it's going to go to hell now. Right? Isn't all, all the bears hopping on the short train here? Okay, so if I scalp right now to this line, then we're out. We're up on every ticket, right? So if I wait, I only got to wait until the bottom of the hour. We got uh, four minutes left. That would be the scalp. I'm using $48 of margin now. I think I'm getting filled on the pound. It's tanking into my limits. So I think I got to fill here on the pound. Look at that. So. Those 15 minute uh, pound traders, man, they nailed it. And I do think this is the uh, going to be a rich buying zone down here. We still got so much punishment. Look at this is the low of the week so far. That was the engulf to end all engulf. So did you do this trade? This was it. Come on. 40 pip window of entry to make 100 pips. That is some slamming, slamming trades. More punishment on the pound. I'm up five bucks. I'm using $78 of margin. What we got here? I'm going to cash out of this and let the pound fill up. All righty then. Let's get out of that euro. Because it looks like the pound is coming back to life. Okay, so this could go up again. I'm I'm fine with that. Okay, this is the trade I'm I'm thinking about is going to be the big pay, the big catch a falling knife. The 15 minute traders are just like wow. All right, so that's going to be just let that go. It's gonna be a that's gonna be a psychotic crush of the pound. 
Wow. Epic. Here we go. I'm already in 50. I'm already in 20k of this. Let's just go hog wild on this. I'm just going to get way out in front of this thing. Okay. So I'm buying that. I don't know if we can get down here. I don't know. Man, I guess you got a lot of tickets down there, don't I? Here, let's put them in denser. With uh, a 30 pip stop down here. I don't think I'll make my 80 pips on that, but... Yeah, I'm going to get in here. I'm just going to use that script because it's got a 30 pip stop. So this is some psychotic trading. Look at this. I mean, we're, we're going to buy down here. There's got to be a supply down here. A bunch of... Uh, double mask up here, everybody. Eight hours. Okay, this could be an epic sell-off in the pound. People be like, yeah, that pound. Down another 40 pips this morning, yes. Let's hope so. Say, how about 60 pips? Look at them punish it. Oh, my God. They, that's the euro. Sorry. So the euro, look at this. If I would have held the euro, I didn't. We're coming even deeper back into the fold, right? Now, the euro, for some reason, I think it's got a, a, a chance to go up here. We're back to fair value. I'm just going to grab this ticket. I shouldn't. It's a six-hour script. Okay. I think I want to be long. Let me put the one hours in, though. Here, two, two hours. Pretty low risk. Six bucks here. Make six bucks. Okay, how's this pound doing? Pound's still, they're going to pound the pound. I mean, just Katie bar the door. That pound is just going to blow people's minds today. Look at this. So if you're buying into this, you got to buy like a 40 pip window. Because I think we're going to drop about 40. So you're under, I'm underwater on those first top tickets right now. Oh, I'm upset. I'm up a buck. I'm up a buck though. Look at that. I don't know if that's from the, from the euro. Wow, look at that, man. Here, I got to delete this because I can't see my stuff. Yeah, we didn't get filled yet. But I got filled on that pound, didn't I? Hmm. Still under the floor. Look at that. Still a good place to buy, you know. Oof. 15-minute traders, man. Look at this. <laughs> 15 minutes up, 15 minutes down. Wow. Okay, so we we tagged that one. We're gonna we're gonna make so we're gonna make a hundred um hundred twenty bucks this morning. All right, that's sit back and I kind of um I I think I should have these leave these cells in. Now I do want to sell all over again. Now that we're going up, I want to sell. Two hours here, and then uh, four hours, and eight hours up and deeper. I think I get, these are mostly eight hours, but here I kind of want to get in this hot spot here. All right, look at that. So up eight bucks. Let's get the equity up to... Uh, Uh, 12,700 my target I'm trying to make uh, 30 bucks here eh, it's falling apart so never underestimate the wick the retest the insanity and in the pound never underestimate I mean, this is 20 pips in 15 minutes 20 18 pips up 18 pips down I mean, these people are nuts. You know? And we could still plunge. So, my real money, I'm barely in the pound right now. Because I do think this is the better trade down here. I'm getting filled. I just picked up a 1K on the euro now. And this is all, this drama is all before even the news is going to come out. Let's look at the pound 
tick chart. It's way more raucous. Now those cells look kind of dangerous, but eh, not so bad. The top of the last one hour session there. All right, so it's 3.30 in the morning, 3.35. Here comes the five-minute traders now. So they got this nice little buy zone trap. And once again, the same challenge. Are we going to... You know, the scalpers are out already. If they were just trying to scalp that little window, and the swing traders are holding, looking for another... Well, their first target's going to be blow out this top. Then we're going to blow this one out. Then we're going to go for the full tilt and golf, which we never got. Because this rally only made it up to this. And then the sellers came in on that 15. This is the 5. So on the 15, it was a clean sell window. You make your money. Uh-oh. This is the, uh, is this the breakout? And that's about to turn down. That'll be a brutal, a brutal sell-off. Okay, so, yeah, the excitement of the ruckus plunges, uh, kind of, I'm still in pretty heavy there. We're in, a, we're in a chunk of money there. Looking for new lows. We really want to load the wagon. I do want to see this, like I said, my dream is... Plunge down here. We're in 300k. We retrace the here. Boom, we're out like damn. And fast money. All right. Five minute traders have updated. Are they buying here? And I used to put buy stops in here. Because I thought, yeah, if they go up, let me just let me autofill on that. But eh. I feel I'd rather have the buy limits down here for the end of the world, which this could be the alternate backup trade plan. So the, the trade plan that uh, people say, well, if I, if I don't get this pattern, that get pattern negates it, I'm going to say, well, how about put an iceberg order, like just a pile of tickets every now and then, if you got enough money in the account and say, I'm going to buy that insane, like, you could still be long right now from here and be underwater. You never got out here. Now you're waiting for the final, which is totally possible by 6 o'clock in the morning. We could totally be um, ripping off the heads of these. And that's into my sell plan then. Back and forth, this is just like, you know. So an hour and 20 minutes into this, a lot of price action so to speak and a lot of challenges to new to the new lows here there's a pounding this uh out here just pounding the hell out of this for uh, but we got a nice we're up two bucks with 71k that's fucking beautiful so we could make our target of twelve thousand seven hundred on the account here by by four o'clock so we have another at the top of the hour again where this is our next uh, goal can we make it here by there can we recover back into the standard deviation we just took out the high of the last five minutes here so there's hope the 15 minute guys are like yeah we bought below here we're ho we're hoping to um And I don't know if my targets are laid into here, but we should be getting out of something here. Scaling out. Because we could still go right to hell, straight to hell without passing go. We, I mean, you got to think about getting out of some here because you may not make it to this again. You know, this is the, this is the considerations is if you're going to drive if you're going to have a car that can do 8,000 RPM, are you really going to drive at red line the whole time? I guess you could. If you know how to do it, sure. 
Okay, this is going to be the moment of truth. As we come into 4 o'clock in the morning, let's get out of this thing. Let, 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 let's make the plan to bail it at 4 o'clock, or we're going to be here uh, before that, and we'll already be out. So I have this time limit thing, too. If I'm in the trade and I see that we're kind of coming to the seller's window, we're long, and I'm like, you know, there's sellers here, and it's the top of the hour. Let's get out. And then if I have the other currencies running in the background, say it's a euro, uh, you know, so I can let that be the other leg, so to speak, and be dumped that five minutes after the top of the hour because maybe it's climaxing or maybe it's hitting its targets. But this way I can trade 70K. I can trade anywhere from 10K to two standard lots. And... You know, two standard lots and 40 pips is okay money. Uh, and that's that's enough money for me to live on. 800 bucks in, in the morning or $100 in the morning. I go back to sleep. Yeah, you could hold on to this trade in this size with targets. And I may have the targets in here. I may look at this 15-minute chart and go, yeah, you know, um, it is Thursday. So I have the luxury to, in the smaller size positions, you got the luxury to sit back and go, yeah, what if you were a trend trader? <laughs> Imagine, because I think if you're in really heavy, don't you just want to get the fuck out and be like, it just made $300 in like 15 minutes. You can afford to sit back and become... Put on your swing trader's cap and go, yeah, okay. And I can do that. I was talking to some traders once time on Skype, and I talked to these trend traders. Next thing you know, I'm trend trading it, but I'm actually just dumping. Every time Every time it comes to the moving average and all the trend traders get in, I'm getting in too, but then I would just dump it. I wouldn't hold on to it. So what was the difference? There's really no difference. Oh, yeah, I can, I can trend trade with you. Yeah, looks like we could go down now. Look at this. I do think that's going to be the better trade today is that the pound just keeps pounding down into here. We'll see here. Okay. We got um, it's the top of the hour, so I got to go make some more coffee here. We'll see. If we could pick up some more tickets here, it'd be great. We just picked up a few K and the 15 minute chart is tanking and uh, we're, we're, we're getting filled on these tickets finally. Amazing. We could just get this obliteration for the next 15 minutes here. So we're going to get that uh, dream trade coming here. The, the 200 K fell. Kablamo. Only down 17 bucks in, um, in 50K. So we got to get this to 400 would be ideal. That would be the 200K entry. Trying to make the uh, 800 bucks, 400 bucks. What have you. Here we go. Coming in. Coming down hard. Back into the fold here on the Euro too. All these tickets I put in, these were the uh, two-hour limits. Back to the fair value buy. The pound looks like it's still got some selling to do. So is this, a, is this a dangerous trade here? You know, like I said, this is really aggressive. We bought that. Uh, the sellers did pretty good right so we held this position here and not got into the buys and i said that i wouldn't have done that trade but just to show that we could do that trade oh there you go now the pound's going to melt down so now we're picking up serious we're going to pick up a serious position now this could be the seem like the end of the world for these for these bulls on the pound 
let's get to four hundred dollars here of margin usage on the pound now. Coming into the abyss. So I'm going to go super uh, crazy here. This is going to only make eight pips, but uh, let's get in with the wide. 30 pip stop here to make 20. Okay, so we can just rest on this trade. This is going to be a great um, set it and forget it. Plunge Ola, $132 a margin now. Down 25 bucks. Uh, pretty damn good. So if you're down 100 bucks and you're $130 a margin, there's something wrong. So if we once we accumulate and get to $400 a margin usage being down 100 bucks, that's still great. That's fantastic. All right, so we're coming in that buy window. We just nicked this supply zone here. Right there. We just hit that. 20 pips clean down. Um, and, well, actually, this is just dropping like a rock now. We just dropped 20 pips on the 15, right? 25 pips down. Okay, there's just scaring the shit out of these bulls now. We bought that trap. All right, so good entry. Set and forget it. I wouldn't touch it now. Now there's more likely for... Um, now the engulf is even more likely. We just got some fuel. We just picked that up, and it was before the top of the hour. We don't know when it's going to happen. We know at the top of the hour, if we are below this floor, there are robots or people that are going to buy below that and lock that in. And for the moment, that's going to be me. I'm going to lock. I'm going to try to lock that in. And the 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 uh, the way to do it without babysitting it is just to put the limits in. It could still drop here. So I would buy at the market. If I didn't think I was in big enough right now, I'd be like, yeah. But I think it's going to tank some more. So actually, I kind of want it to go down and shear down another 20 pips. I might lose a few K here. I think I just lost about 2K. I mean, two uh, tickets. Two 1K tickets. I'm looking at my balance now. I'm staring at it. Uh, six, 675, 673. Point seventy three cents. So to get into this four hundred dollars margin usage and only maybe lose about uh, a few bucks off the balance, that'd be the Goldilocks entry. Look at this meltdown. This is the so called London sell off or whatever. Great reset. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, the fifteen minute guys sold selling on that on this chart, they're up like thirty pips now. They're like, Yeah, that's what you do. See, you just sell that rally into the previous uh, top become a bottom. All right, come on. So this'll just be like there's nothing you can do about this is already pre uh defined trade. Okay, now the even the euro's selling off now. I'm picking up more K there. I'm gonna reach that target of four hundred dollars of usage. With the uh hopefully only down about fifty to seventy dollars at that point. We still haven't lost any open positions. Top of the hour's coming. Oh, $142 a margin. I haven't lost any positions. Oh, look at that. Just got a slightly newer low there on the pound. I used to buy into this at the market, and it just was not, it was not good because I could not gauge how big I wanted to get in. 
So I, I wait till the end of the hour to trade at the uh, on the one hour chart. But in the meantime, if I'm waiting for the um, hour to pass before I get this so called pattern, and in the meantime, I'm just going to buy low. And then if I do get that uh, perfect amount of fill on limits, then I don't have to trade at the market. I don't have to say, well, look at. I can already see. Oh, here we go. Finally, finally get a fill in here. I lost about two tickets. Now I'm looking at my balance. Okay, let's get that margin to fill up. Okay, that was a great fill down there. $150, a margin down 40 bucks. I'm getting filled on that euro again. All right, we got new lows here again. So this is even a better buy. Buy back better. Buy back better Forex trading. Ultra woke swing trading. We're almost in profits. Perfect entry. Okay, this could be worth 70 bucks. Still got to get, I'm still, um, now we're 50 bucks below our target now. So. The euro's coming back to life very nicely, though. I think the euro could save us here, get us to our target. We're only $49 below the target of uh, this morning's uh, Thursday uh, pre-game show of the jobs report. Oh, the euro's coming back nicely. Oh, the pound's going to get pounded, though. So I'm offsetting with my winning euro trade is making money. The pound looks like they're just going to smash it. They just are so brutal. So they're going opposite directions now. Hmm. Yeah, five minutes before the top of the hour here. Insane volatility. Just picked up another. Oh, got stopped out of something. Getting stopped out of this pound now. Because uh, it's just so wicked. I got a lot, plenty of room to drop. Staggering sell off. Look at this. Just sheer down. I love this trade though. I think this is going to make some money. Just made a new low. Come, okay. So this is this is the another moment of truth here. Okay, you got five seconds before five minutes before four o'clock in the morning. Okay, so five minutes left. Go to the five minute chart. Wow, look at that. Getting ready to just go down to nowhere, Bill. Retracing. Five minute traders pull the trigger. They're saving, they're going to save my account. I'm in pretty heavy on the pound now. A little bit of euro. Euro not so much. The euro came back um, a little deeper into that fair value, but it's okay because I'm running 20 pip stops and, you know, this doesn't move as much. I'm running the same kind of scripts here. Okay, more punishment from the pound. Oof, there we go. Now we're talking. So this should be, this should be a lightning round. This is fantastic. Almost two hundred dollars a margin. Looks like we dropped about ten k there. We lost about ten k, but we picked up an enormous, juicy position down here. Buying those new lows. <laughs> another another um, supply zone hit. So this one's hit. 
on the half hour. This one's hit. And if it, anything below here, this is why I, I didn't have to trade this with the market at all. This is just like the, the best prices down here. Hmm. Look at that deep discount here. This is a way smaller range. I mean, this thing's dropped. I mean, down 40 pips here from here. Still dropping, still picking up tickets. Amazing. British pound, man. I just wouldn't want to be short. It's just, it's just a ticking time bomb for when it's going to retrace here. Oof. That dollar's just getting, it's just killing everyone right now. Look at the Dow Jones. There's a bloodbath coming. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Oof. But it's all good. I love the bloodbath because the retracement's the, the thing. The, uh, here's, here's your scalp uh, to support and beyond the attempt to engulf on Bitcoin. This dollar looks itching to blow the top off here, but then again, it's sell, sell city up here, right? Put the cells in here. Okay, looks like we're losing. We're back to our 666 double balance. So we lost about a few K there. Picking up quite a, a few tickets here. In fact, I'm going to, I want to buy more here. Let's just go full retard here. All right, we've got one minute before four o'clock in the morning. And we're just about in the right size here. Wow. We're going to update that, that uh, one hour chart now. Look at that. Damn. Still, st still think we go down another 30 pips here. This is nuts. That's what it is. You know, top of the hour comes, we're probably going to keep tanking a little bit more too. There'll be some follow through. I don't think it's going to turn on the dime here. But maybe turn on a dime for 10 pips so I wouldn't get too excited about um, 15 seconds. Right. I think if you do turn on a dime really fast in the next five minutes, that's got to be your target. So. All right. So here we are. It's four o'clock in the morning. I don't know if there's news coming out. We could go smashing up. It looks to me like it does such a ferocious sell into four o'clock that we're going to get some more down. Another eight pips down at least. The euro's kind of dead in the water here. We're just kind of we we uh, took out Asia's low and took out the uh, you know kind of just sitting there uh, dead in the water in the low in the lows. You still got four hours and four and a half hours before this stupid jobs report garbage. So that this is the trap, the London trap. I'd call this the London Trap instead of the London Breakout. Okay, now we're retracing. Are we going to hit our first target here? This is the floor. That is the top of the hour, literally that right there. So I did think we could still tank some here. But we could, fl we could flick up and then go down. We, if we can go up, I don't have any targets there. But you could. And if you were... If you were concerned you could have your finger on the trigger and get out of this and hold these losers right these are the early entry ones you hold on to those okay i'm gonna let it go because it's four o'clock in the morning well let's see the performance when we get to here 
we know sellers have already come in right there, right? So you see that first pullback was, that's a scalp. You know, for somebody, that's a scalp. Right there, boom, they're up. They're like, okay, I'll take that. They're not going to ride this out, but I'm going to ride it out. Right, so for the next hour, I think I should stay in this trade. I think I can make $100. Will it take us to $12,750 in the account? And then I want to go back to sleep. Okay. I just always want to go back to sleep. Apparently, I, I like falling asleep better than being asleep. I like to get my pillow just right, my Forex pillow. I get it just right. <laughs> I'll go back to sleep, man. This is fucking bullshit. This training is just so too much work. Okay, 177. So I didn't get that that uh, standard lot going, but I'm 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 damn I'm damn close. I'm in like 80k. 80k, no market orders. Didn't have to. I wish the pound would have uh, fallen down deeper, but that's okay. This looks good. The euro's coming back off the floor. We're just going to hold this until the news comes out. Or we hit target, whichever comes first. So it's two different ways to get out. So actually, I am trading at the market on exit because like right now I could just go, you know what? Take all winners off the table on this dead cat bounce underneath here. We're coming back up into the challenge area. Right, because the real bears, they're going to actually sell more here because that's their confirmation entry. Break out, uh, pull back to pull back to breakout point, and then really load the wagon and go full retards uh, uh, south. But when you go to the four-hour chart, you think about selling here, and you kind of think, "Whoa, I don't know, should we sell here?" Like, and even the trend traders on the four-hour chart would tell you, "No, well, by moving averages." And that's why people use these moving averages because it gives them a bias. I don't have a bias. I just have a area of buying. And my exit would be on this trade. I am probably going to go flat. If we hit this price by the time the jobs report comes out, if I just let it go, uh, by the time Jaws report, we could be here. It's only 20 pips away. Okay, now we're screaming back. That is literally, right now is five minutes after the top of the hour. So definitely going to cash out. Not that I would with my real money. I'm still holding it, but I could cash out here, right? Every ticket is almost a winner. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let it go. Because I don't think that... Um, I don't think we're going to make new lows. And if we do, I've got enough dry powder, right? This is the sizing thing. You're getting that size right, so I don't have to... I'm not that worried about it. And so I'm making the judgment call here. Let it go. Right. I have the luxury of doing that because I don't have anything really that's that, um, you know, right now it's very, uh, it's four o'clock in the morning. It's five after. So if I wait till five in the morning or even six in the morning, when U S markets open, we could be totally up another 20 pips from here. So I'm going to hold this trade. And I'm so glad I didn't have to trade that at the market because such a pain in the ass. Look at the 15 minute. And I got celibates up there. <sighs> Scalpers get out right there and every ticket is above water. Okay, I'm cashing out of this. Hopefully, pretty soon, automatically, because 
I have targets there. But I also have my finger on the trigger here. Because if I see a ruckus move and I'm up. Okay, my dollar target's been hit. So anything from here on, I got my finger on the cash out of this one instrument only. And let's just give it. Okay, let's get out right there. Boom. So every ticket's a winner here. Oh, see, pulling back a little bit. Oof. All right, there you go. Now I can now I can do the same thing I did before, which is come back in with these one hour buy limits. And this is why it's just like a normal job. I'm still holding the euro though. I reduced my exposure. I'm up nine bucks using forty six dollars a margin, which is coming from this trade here. And I guess I got sell limits up there. Right? So trading both currencies is definitely taking more, uh, you know, concentration, attention. I will buy the retap of that if it comes back. And I'm still holding the euro in the background of this. All right. Um... Looking for another 10 pips on the pound here. I'm still actually slightly in the pound. I got one little baby ticket left behind here. Two. Like 3K in the pound. So we're about to take profits on that year automatically. So here's the, uh, the pound. Not exactly killing it there. All right, but the pressure's off of that trade. Don't have to worry about it no more. I'm gonna ride that euro for the same engulf uh, target we're going for this one here now. So that was the critical ICT seller's order block window, and now it's the place to we're gonna try to breach that. Today's target. And this could be doomed. This could come down again. That's why I got out of that and we reloaded the gun and we made our target dollar wise. That's kind of looks like we could tank now. <laughs> so that's why these are just, you know, look at it's gonna pull back, right? Let's buy that. For two hours, let's do this again. And I have more luxury now. Because being in that uh, big position is a lot of pressure. For four hours, I'm going to buy here. And I'm going to refresh this with four-hour tickets. But because I don't want to come back to this, I'm going to put the eight hours in down here again. At least it's going to be seven hours less than when I started this video. That's two hours of video. But, uh, you know, it's going to be. All right, here we're coming back. Look at that. Come back to the starting gate a little bit there. You're all right. Let's see here. Okay, so this I'm um, using different symbols. That's a uh, different uh, running two currency pairs here. All right, that pound is coming back to life. The euro's tanking again. So let's buy more here since I don't have enough margin running now. And we still got the news events to come come out. We haven't been down here. So that's ripe for the pickings down here. Oh, look at that. That pound's coming back to life. I want that pound to come down again. Do the rinse and repeat. Well, I may not get it, right? So, the, you know, if I kept, if I, so by the end of the day today, if I kept focusing on this account, we should be able to make another $200 today. Just on dumb shit moves. 
it goes up, it goes down. Kind of, kind of, uh, all the concern I had about the selling uh, banks up here, you know, that was a great trade. Uh, I, like I said, I scalped to here, which you didn't have to, but I did. I scalped in all this money. We didn't get the engulf at the bottom of that, but came all the way back into fair value. Now this is a great trade here to hold this and sell above that again. So I think that if these tickets are eight hours here above, by the time news comes out, this will be uh, a great uh, trade. We can make another 50 bucks maybe here using only about 25K. But this would be the accumulation uh, phase of this. Uh, people here are hoping for, you know, looking for a rally. All the bulls that are building a long position here, or are they building a short position for another meltdown into way down here? I say no. I say we get it up in here. We sell it again, and it just comes back down into that box, and that's the trade. It's just it goes nowhere. It's better if it goes nowhere. Eighty percent of the time, it's not going anywhere in a straight line. So all these zigzags are just opportunities. Look how that did turn on a dime on the one hour. Look at that. It's ridiculous. So that is just, uh, look at the shaved candle there. That looks prone for a slight uh, quiet down. Maybe even make new lows. I'm okay with that. Let's buy that. And beyond. Here comes the 15 minute traders again. So their their view is okay. Well, we scalped to that. Are we going to engulf now, or are we doomed for more tanking? Five minute traders say, you know what, we're at the pivot. Let's just. They want the bulls want to go clearing out these, the space and the. Bears are saying, uh uh, you know, that's the breakout, that's the thing. You know, this is the breakout. Okay, we're taking a little bit of heat here. Yeah, we got the Dominion voting, but you know, we, yeah, I guess we too many dead people voting this time. You got us. Yeah, you got us this time. <laughs> All right, so I'm holding the pound, holding the euro. There's the euro trading. I'm going to sell that euro on the way up. And so that thing, I'm going to keep that trade plan going now. Looks more viable now. Oh, look at that pound screaming. Just pissed off. Look at that thing. Wow. Nice. Once again, I'm tempted to just cash out. In fact, I'm going to do that. Okay, let that go. We can do a rinse and repeat on that. I'm still holding it with real money, though. So I think it's going to be a beautiful smash here. All righty. I'm about to get out of that pound. Another uh, five pips here. It's just too, this, I mean, there's so much more time before the market's even really open. Okay, I'm getting out of the pound. I'm going to get out of everything winning now. And like some of my goal in life, I think it's just to sleep. I'm going to wait. No, I'm not. Okay, I'm going to just get out right now. And go flat here. I'm $15 above my target. Now I'll put buy limits in all over again. I know. I know it's just it's just sad. It's the saddest thing because um it makes no sense. 
Okay, buy again on limits here on the... Now here I'm not going to... Um, I am going to leave all those really deep buy limits because I still think we could do some damage to the other side of this. All right, that's it. I'm going to go back to sleep.